Hey, welcome to another episode of CVN's Trial Technique Spotlight. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Shane Reed. I'm a trial consultant. I've written textbooks on trial skills. And I want to share with you today just one of the most important things any lawyer can do in an opening statement, and that is directly hit head on the theme of the opposing attorney. And this case today is very fascinating. We're going to look at uh, attorney Frank Bayek, who is representing a toddler who is severely injured in a rollover of a golf cart. And a plaintiff was claiming that Yamaha had made a defective golf cart. And Yamaha was saying, no, it wasn't our fault. It was driver error. But more importantly, the plaintiff's uh, parents had heavily modified this golf cart. And that was the reason the toddler was severely injured. So Frank Bayek, the plaintiff's attorney, in opening statement, not only does he have a great theme to undercut the opposing attorney's theme, but he has a great video. So let's watch the video, then I'll give you some thoughts about it. Because again, we know Yamaha is going to ask you to blame the modifications. That's actually their burden of proof. We have the burden to prove Yamaha made a defective product. Yamaha wants to blame everyone else but themselves. They have the burden to prove to you that anyone else has responsibility besides them. That's their burden of proof, as the court will instruct you. And so we had Mr. Rogers at the scene test the golf car with none of the modifications on it to see what happened in real life testing, exactly as Mr. Hall would have encountered in May of 2018. And you all have heard the expression, a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, that's true. A video is worth a million. This is what happened every time the vehicle was tested at the scene exactly as designed with two wheel braking. I'm going to show it to you first in slow motion. That orange cone there is put there because that is where Mr. Hall began hitting the brake pedal at the time of the wreck. So that's, we recreated it, let's see, recreated it exactly. So we could recreate the exact accident sequence that Mr. Hall faced in May of 2018. What I thought Frank Bayek did really well was that he used a couple of analogies that jurors could relate to. First, he said, Yamaha is just going to blame everyone and point fingers at everyone but themselves. That theme is very powerful and resonates with the jury. He used another great analogy about where we've all heard that a picture tells the story of a thousand words, but I'm going to show you a video that's worth a million words. Very powerful images. That's something that the jurors are going to remember for a long time. And remember, jurors are making up their minds very quickly. That's why it's important in opening statement to get your theme out and undercut the opposing attorney's theme. And finally, this was a very close case. The verdict was $7 million for the plaintiff, but the attorney almost didn't get it. And the reason he got it was he's such a great advocate. The jurors apportioned 51% of liability or negligence to um, Yamaha and 44% to the driver. I mean, that's how close it was. And then under Georgia law, the plaintiff got the full um, recovery as if Yama had been 100% liable. So with that, um, I hope you've enjoyed this segment. There are lots of great videos on CBN to learn a lot more from. If you want to learn more about myself and my trial tips, go to the link below at my website or connect with me on LinkedIn. I look forward to seeing you here next time on CBN's trial Technique Spotlight.